Okay, so this is version three. I saved the page as index version three. So once this is completed, I'm gonna post these files so you guys can take a look at it. Okay, so in our last episode, branding tag was flowed to the left and we're using the 960 grid system to build our layout and our design to make it pixel perfect using simple math, fourth grade math. So if you guys slept through fourth grade math class, this can potentially hurt your head. Now, whatever you do, when you're doing this 960 grid system, you know, I want you to tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your schoolmates, tell your girlfriend, tell your husband, tell your wife, but don't, under any circumstances, do not, don't tell grandma. Grandma is really against this whole newfangled 960 grid system. She's a purist, she writes code, just understand this whole 960 grid and the copy and paste. So whoever you tell, don't tell grandma, okay? Just that's between you and I, but she'll get totally upset if you tell her you're building sites using the 960 grid system, okay? She'll get upset, okay? And then I'll get upset. And then she'll come after me. Anyway, it's a whole other story. So let's get, let's get started here. Okay, so site nav. How big is site nav going to be? Well, let's think about this. Site nav, if you look at here, site nav is going to take up how many grid sections? Site nav is going to take up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not quite eight. So, how are we going to do this? So, we're going to select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. You know, to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. Okay, so we're going to make this site nav here. box, category box, be 7 times 80. So 7, 7, 7 times 80, okay, is 560, okay. Now 560, 560, notice that it's basically jammed over here. You're saying, well, how come it doesn't look like 560? It's because that this div tag by default is taking up this much space over here. So it's, it's that plus what? Plus plus 60, because it's not a full 80. It's not a full 80, so this is plus 60. So you can do math right here. Genius, I tell you, genius, okay? Nobody else teaches this technique. They just don't. That's why you need to subscribe to my service for free. That's why, more importantly, you need to help me pay for my fifth summer home. Actually, I'm kidding. I don't have five summer homes. I do have a couple summer homes, by the way, not five. Anyway, so that keeps my, my grandkids, uh, pays for their school fund. I have three grandkids. Unfortunately, my daughter's 25, or I should say fortunately, and she already has three kids. I don't know what she's thinking. She should have just stayed in school, but that's a whole other subject. Okay, so it's, it's that. So if I apply that, that's the total width, and I'm going to float this to the left. Now, I could technically float this to the right, but I wouldn't float it to the right unless I want to have space between it. Okay, so I float that to the left. Now, aha, I want to put in the same 10 pixels of padding here. So I'm going to put in 10 pixels of padding, which means I need to do what to this number? You guessed it, minus 20, minus 20. Genius, I tell you, genius. Okay, now I also, so this is taking up this entire space right here. See how that perfectly fits in there? I have a nice little margin space in here, so I can do all kinds of cool stuff. Now, one of the cool things I want to do is I want to make my site nav background, we want to make it black. Well, now we can do that. Let's go ahead and make it black. Now, if I make it black, of course, my type's going to disappear, so that would tell me to make my type white. Okay, so therefore I still have my site nav. Genius, I tell you, genius. So it's taking up that exact same space. Okay, now we're getting into uncharted territory right now. Very, very important step here. This main content div tag, let's look at that for a second. Make a change, save a change. Could have to get into, okay? So let's select the main content. Notice main content's taking up this entire section up here. It's because main content doesn't see branding, main content doesn't see site nav, okay? Because main content is not floating, 
Now, main content's going to be floating in just a second. But right now, main content's not floating. So if you just want to have a main content div tag go across your page, 940 pixels, I might say, 940 pixels because we're using the 960 grid system, which of course, as we learned, is 960 minus 10 on the left and 10 on the right, which is 912. 912, is that right? 912? No, 940. Of course it's 940. 960 minus 10 and 10 is 940. So if you wanted to make this main content basically expand the whole page, you'd have to apply a clear to this, similar to how we're going to do the footer here. Okay, now let's say main content is going to take up, let's say, let's think about this. I want main content to take up two whole sections, two thirds of my site. In fact, I lied about that. I want to take up two thirds plus a section. So I want, and if it helps you, you can put a guide right here to guide and assist you. I want main content to take up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine sections of 80 pixels. Nine times eight. So how are we going to do this? Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. In order to affect the tag, you need the selected tag. Hey, guys, if you want to do hand coding, then go learn hand coding. Do you want to learn how to code by hand or do you want to make money? My whole objective, any software I teach, whether it's After Effects, whether it's any program, any software program, I teach the skills that will make you money. M-O-N-E-Y. Money. Money makes the world go round. So if you want to learn how to hand code here, then go somewhere else because that's not what I teach here. I'm going to teach you some code that Dreamweaver perhaps doesn't do, but in general, we're going to use Dreamweaver interface because that's why you're using Dreamweaver. So the bottom line is, which should be my mantra for my advertising campaign, if you want to learn how to write code, we want to learn how to make money because I know plenty of people that write code and you know what they're doing? They're waiting tables. They're not working. Okay? Because people can't afford, quote-unquote, programmers. Okay? So they want to hire web developers. In fact, they just want to hire whoever can get it done. So if you happen to be a waitress or a bus driver or a mathematician or a psychic or a third baseman for the Yankees, you can, in fact, he lives across the street from me. I won't mention his name, but the third baseman for the Yankees lives right across the street from me. And actually, he's actually... Strangely enough, has asked me a couple of web design questions because he knows what I do because I'm friends of anyway, it's a whole other subject. But so let's let's get started here. So how many grids do we need to take up? We need to take up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine times eighty. So we're gonna select the tag, select the tag, make a rule, select the tag, make a rule. Okay. So we're going to make the width of this box section is going to be 80. 80 is each grid times, times symbol, 9. 80 times 9. Which basically brings my main content to here. Now, I want to give main content, I want to give main content 10 pixels of padding. In fact, in fact, let's give main content just because we can Let's give main content 20 pixels of padding, which means I need to do what to the width? I need to minus what? I need to minus 40 pixels. And we're going to float this to the left. Okay, so now I have main content is floating to the left, and it has padding, and I want to put some margin space. So each grid section here, each column grid, in between column is 20 pixels. I'm going to do minus 20. So 20 pixels to the right, which means I need to minus, minus 20 pixels here. See, you can be a total genius with this stuff if you know what buttons to push. If you know my simple, simple setup of using whole number math. Now, if you want to use fraction math and three quarters of math, I don't teach that stuff. Just kidding. Okay, so I hit the apply option. Now, just because we can, just for shits and giggles, one of my favorite actors, Christopher Walken, for shits and giggles, 
we're going to make this background of this particular background for our main content, we're going to make it my favorite orange color. And we're going to give this a white text. Again, just so you can kind of visually see what's going on here. So there is main content. Now notice we haven't given it a height. We're going to let the div tag itself auto adjust to the height. Okay, so now news bar. Simple, 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 simple news bar. Okay, so select a tag, select a tag, make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. So again, I just want to share something with you guys. By default, see news bar is taking up this entire section here because it doesn't have any properties. It doesn't have any rules applied to it. Without rules, we have chaos. Without rules, we have lynda.com. Just kidding. Linda actually used to teach at my school. She did a couple of seminars at my school in New York City back in 1997. So Linda Wyman is actually a very sweet, very nice person. She's built an incredible empire on training videos. But none of her teachers use my technique because they don't know my technique. Okay, So hats off to Linda for her enterprise, but she doesn't do what I do. Okay, So let's, let's continue here. So this by default is taking up this entire section. So we want our news bar to take up one, two, not a full third here. So it's going to take up one section, two sections plus this. So it's eight times two plus 60. So how do I do that? Well, I select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. The tag is selected so the tag can be affected. Rule number one to software. In order to affect something, you have to select something. So we want this news bar to take up 2 times 80. Okay. Now, we could let Dreamweaver do math, but I assume you know that 2 times 80 is 120. No, 130. No, 2 eights. Oh, 2 eights. 2 eights is 16. Oh, I get it. 280 is 16. Plus, plus what? Plus, plus 60 plus 60, so that gives us that particular size, okay? Now, news bar is going to scamper down here to the bottom because news bar, if I wanted to put news bar here, that's where it would go by default, but we're going to take news bar and based on these choices, I just want to share with you a very powerful technique, guys. This is how you get good at software, okay? Once you're in a dialog box, okay, right now, this is my world right now based on these choices. These are all choices. Choice, arrow key down. Choice, 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 arrow key up. Choice, choice, choice. So once I have these choices, and based on these choices, what do you want to do? Okay, that's how you start thinking the way the software thinks. Think Dreamweaver. Think Photoshop. Think Illustrator. Think After Effects. Think about buying my videos for $109. Think making Robert rich. Well, actually, Robert's already rich. That's a whole other story. Okay, so let's get let's move forward here. So this needs to float to the left. Float to the left. So therefore, it will go over there. How cool is that? It's magic. It's total magic. It's magic using my proven technique. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. Let's give this. Now, Let's give this the same padding that the branding that the main content had, which was 20 pixels. Or was it 30? I forget. So let's minus, minus, minus 20. Minus 20. So because at 20, you have to minus 20. Okay. I'm sorry. Minus 40. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? I broke my own system. Okay. So minus 20. So there I have some nice padding between here. Now, this padding that you see here is this footer tag, the footer div tag. The footer div tag is taking up this entire space. We're going to fix that in just one second. Well, maybe about 137 seconds, but we'll fix it eventually. Okay, now there's no reason to margin, uh, marginalize. Is that a word? Marginalize? Put a margin inside my news bar because... It already has a margin from the main content. So we're good to go with our news bar. So perfect system. Make a change, save a change. Now, let's talk to Mr. Footer. Now, 
Mr. Footer has a serious problem here. Mr. Footer, or Ms. Footer, let's be correct here, Ms. Footer, or a person footer, or a citizen footer, or a citizen div footer, okay, is taking up this entire space right here. Why? Because footer can't see this left float, and footer can't see this right float, because footer has to clear the left float. Footer needs two clears. I'm going to say select a tag down here in the bottom left, select a tag, make a rule. See, at 2 o'clock in the morning, guys, when you're trying to sleep, I want you to hear my voice. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Now, if you buy my $109 CS6 video, you not only get me to hear me say, select the tag, make a rule, select the tag, but you get to pay for it. So that's worth the price right there that you get to pay to hear me say, select the tag, make a rule, select the tag, make a rule. See, here you get to hear it for free, but there's nothing better than paying me to hear me say it. And as a bonus, I typically say it about four more times, so if that's not worth the investment, okay. So box. Now, understand what's happening. Footer, first of all, before we go to box, we jumped ahead of ourselves. Footer should technically be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to make my tie face nine pixels. We're going to make our tie face white, is we're going to put Mr. Footer in a, or Ms. Footer or Citizen Footer in a background of black. Now, very important step if you haven't seen my videos before. I want my footer content to vertically be in the center, top and bottom in the center. Now, I could make the box height, say, 40 pixels high. I don't want to do that because then, then I have to jam the type. I, put, I have to put some padding between the top and the bottom. So the way around that, and this works for a single line of text, which a footer is going to contain in this particular case. Now, some modern footers have whole columns of information. We'll discuss that in another video. In fact, we'll discuss it in my CX, CS6 video that you're going to be buying today for $109. Because if you don't, and you go, and if, and if 220 people buy, the price then goes to $329. So, so think about that. Okay, so line height's going to be, line height's going to be, let's make this an entire grid space. Okay, so let's make it 44 pixels high, minus the margin. So this is going to vertically, what this is going to do for us, guys, this is going to vertically put the type in the center, top and bottom. Now for left and right alignment, we need to go to category, block, block, category, and based on these choices, these choices, we need to put this in the center. Now, if he is the resistance here, okay, if you go to your box category here and I hit the apply, I'm actually going to have to go to my box category, but if I hit the apply option, you'll see that footer is not going to behave with the footer should behave. Because based on these choices here, footer needs to clear left and right float. Well, actually, there's no right float. Clitter, clitter. <laughs> The footer, the footer, citizen footer, needs to clear the left, which is this left float and this left float. News bar has a left float, main content has a left float. It needs to clear the space. It's kind of like somebody coming and sitting in your chair and you go, what do you mean I didn't see it? What do you mean you didn't see me? I'm sitting in this chair. So footer can't see this and this because they're floating. They're floating above footer. So footer's taking up this entire section. So footer needs to clear. So if news bar had a right float, then based on these choices, these choices, I would clear both. We're just going to clear left. So if I hit the apply option and hit OK, what just happened here? OK, so somehow I had a, a very strange thing happen there. Somehow when I, when I typed the word footer, I had a space there, so I had to correct that. So to share with you what happened a second ago, Footer actually said this, and that's not going to work. So it has to be footer. Uh, apparently, I wasn't paying attention when I typed the name of the footer. I accidentally put a space after footer. So that's why footer was acting like very strange. Okay. So footer, footer here is going to basically be block category and flow to the center. Why did I pick right? What was I thin in? What was I thin in, Baba Louie? Okay, so now footer has a height. Okay, so very important step here. So footer, Ms. Footer, has a height of 44 pixels. 
line height of 44 pixels, so it vertically puts its height in the center. So if you were to do something like a little production technique here, option, drum roll please, option G key, option G, all key for Windows, makes the copyright symbol. So I can say 2012mysite.com. Make a change, save a change. Now if you think that's a little too small, then just make it bigger. Now let's correct some of these other problems here, okay? Let's correct the information from the top to bottom here. We want to put, we don't want these div tags cramming up against each other. Now we could solve this a very simplistic way. We could physically go to the branding tag and give that margin space and then go to the site nav and give that margin space. Why don't we just do something very, very simplistic here? We already have a div tag rule when a div is inside of a div. So rather than reinvent the wheel here, why don't we just double click our div tag when a div is inside of a div and simply say the box margin space is outside the box, margin space is outside the box, padding space is inside the box. So from the top to the bottom here, so if we say top 10 pixels, well, we don't want to do 10 pixels from the top, because that's going to basically do 10 pixels to the top of here. What do we want to do? We want to do 20 pixels from the bottom because that's each grid section here is 20 pixels okay so there's our solution there's our problem okay so right there it's a perfect grid system of 20 pixels to the left here 20 pixels top and bottom so in our next video we'll fill in the content and finish off this bad puppy so we'll talk to you soon again i can't emphasize enough guys how important it is that you get a hold of my cs6 videos that are going to publish and that you launch. This is a project I've been working on since uh, the end of last year. I've been beta testing Dreamweaver products, actually all Adobe products for the past couple of years, okay? I've been beta testing the Adobe system since uh, 1999-1990. Actually, before there actually was a beta system, I was consulting and working for Adobe. So if you want to take advantage of my system here, of my time-tested method, of building sites the correct way. In fact, all Adobe products, I'm going to be offering a full array of Adobe product software tutorials, which I have been doing for free, but no more. A couple little things for free, but, you know, I realize based on my comments and based on the, the, the accolades I get from people, nobody teaches my stuff, okay? My friends and colleagues, and more importantly, my girlfriend of 19 years says, look, why are you giving it away for free? You know what? She's right. In the beginning, it was like, yeah, so what? So I've made a lot of money from corporate training, a lot of money from site development, a lot of money from my training studio, studio in New York City. So I was like, eh, you know what? I, I got three grandkids to take care of now. Eventually, once I get into college, I can't even imagine how much college is going to be back then. Plus, I would like to think that $100 is not going to make or break somebody, especially if you're serious about making money in this industry. On top of that, if you think about this, if you've been invested into hundreds of dollars in Dreamweaver, spend a little bit more to learn how to use the tool the right way. You're not going to learn this stuff in books. You're not going to learn it someplace else. You're certainly not going to learn it at SBA or Parsons or at Pratt or the New School. How do I know that? Because 62% of my students at my New York studio on 57th Street went to those schools and wasted their time and wasted their money. So I know what I'm talking about. So definitely go to thinklearnearn.com, thinklearnearn.com, and sign up for my tutorials. It's going to be jam-packed with a bunch of information, plus the cool, cool, cool thing about this, guys, unlike any other video tutorial out there, premium video tutorial, this gives you free updates for 18 months. I will be publishing at least, at least a minimum of three to four new videos each week so you're going to get that for the next 18 months. You're going to get support. You're going to get help. I'm here to help you every step of the way. You're good to me. I'm good to you. It's that simple. We'll talk to you on the other side. We'll talk to you in the next video.